The Hebrew University was established about 100 years ago. It's the leading institute in, in Israel, spanning many, many topics of, of research. Here we are at the Safra campus, which is focused on science. The Center for Nanoscience and Nanotechnology at the Hebrew University serves as a hub for outstanding research in diverse fields such as physics, chemistry, applied physics and engineering, pharmacy, and more. We have uh, hundreds of users like PhD students, postdocs, and, and other scientists that are coming here on a daily basis. We are supporting the academia and the industry in Jerusalem, in Israel, and abroad. We have over 25 ERC grants in our center. I think this is by far highest compared to any other nano center in the world. Uh, on top of that, you can take a look at our top-notch publications. We are talking about hundreds of publications every year in, in top-notch uh, journals. Uh, and of course, research grants, diverse research grants for competitive uh, resources is also a merit. What makes the centers the best in Israel and one of the very best in Europe are the people. And of course, the supportive research environment. My research is focused on the topic of nanophotonics. Nanophotonics in general is the science of studying interactions of light with matter at the nanoscale. We are looking at fundamental aspects of enhancing these interactions using sophisticated and advanced nanostructures that are implemented on tiny, tiny chips. And we are looking for new applications in all aspects of life, like imaging, communication, say autonomous navigation, metrology, sensing, lithographies, new memories, and more. We have over 85 principal investigators and research groups in our Nano Center, working together towards a joint goal. My field of research is uh, nanomaterials for applications in uh, functional printing, uh, meaning that uh, we print something that can do something, uh, not just in the graphic arts, for example, to print electrical circuits, or to print a sensor, or pr to print a, a light emitting device. We work on how to use nanotechnology for medical applications. Uh, in specific, what we are interested in is to improve anti-cancer therapy. One of the main challenges in cancer and in oncology in general is how to make drugs more efficient and more specific. So we actually can design nanoparticles that will carry the drug to the tissue, to the tumor tissue, kill the cells of the, of the tumor and not the healthy microenvironment. In my research area, I concentrate on photovoltaic solar cells. We are mainly uh, working on hybrid perovskite, a semiconductor material, which you can make uh, very easily from solution. And this is why it makes it cheap and easy to make, and recently very high efficient, which we are hoping will make the renewable energy area much more attractive for use any place. We are doing taking standard devices like memory devices, uh, sensors, detectors, other kind of devices, transistor, and add small nanoparticles on top of them, very, very small particles, and organic molecules, and change the properties. This is why we have new properties, what we call quantum mechanics, just start to take place, and we have completely new devices and design. I work on colloidal quantum materials, namely uh, mostly on semiconductor nanocrystals which are materials that uh, manifest different properties depending on their size, shape and composition. We cover everything from the synthesis of the colloidal quantum materials to examining their size, shape and composition dependent properties, as well as incorporating them in various applications, especially in two fields, displays and in photocatalysis. This is the Titan Temis. It's one of the most recent acquisitions of the Nano Center. And this aberration-corrected electron microscope places us at the state-of-the-art of material characterization capabilities. The center runs a flourishing education program and it delivers large number of scholarships and prizes for our students and for our faculties. As a PhD student, I receive a scholarship from the center. My research uh, is about developing actuators, which are devices that move when trigger is applied. And the main, uh, uh, the main target is to uh, include them in soft robotics. I decided to come here for my postdoc uh, because I was already familiar with uh, the group I was going to join. And I knew 
that they operated at a high level and I knew uh, some of the facilities I were going to have access to were very similar to what I had worked with during my PhD uh, and because I was going to be offered a, lo a large degree of freedom in, in, in choosing my own research topics. We now have an open call for a prestige prize in Nano by the name Dan Maidan Prize. It is aiming to support a superstar mid-career scientist in the field of nano. Our future research is aiming towards expanding the horizons of nanoscience and nanotechnology. We are trying to better understand the very fundamentals of nanoscience and we are looking to find new and exciting applications. I believe that the sky is the limit here.